Hello guys, long time no see. I think it's been a couple of weeks now since I posted on my channel, but I wanted to come on here and honestly just like have a little catch up chat, even just for like documenting things myself. I just wanted to like talk about what I have going on in my life right now, some like updates since the last time you guys have seen me and this video is gonna be honestly mostly unfiltered, uncut, and yeah, just like a chill, discussion between us two i have a little cup of tea here i am drinking like a cinnamon chai i don't know if you guys can really see that i'm kind of at the bottom of it but it is so amazing i actually just got a tea maker and it's so cool it has like different little settings on it so that you can make like a bunch of different teas at the proper temperatures that they're supposed to be at i didn't even know that was a thing but yeah, so I have my little cup of tea. Feel free to grab a tea of your own or coffee. So, <clears throat> I guess the first thing that I want to go from is that I went to the Taylor Swift Eras Tour, which was so cool. I posted a video on that. You guys can watch that. I'll put a link either here or like in the description to that. That was so wild. I feel like that just like marked a really interesting time in my life where... I transitioned from my old apartment to the apartment that I'm currently in. If you guys know, I had a mice issue in my last apartment and during that whole time period of like the Taylor Swift concert and getting to the end of like, or like midsummer, I guess, I was just kind of in a bad place living wise like i was just so tired of my space if you watch my old videos there were just boxes everywhere and i just had to have so many things sealed up and protected because it was just hell like i had at least at least nine mice in that place that i remember seeing either like dead or running around i even saw one on my last day in that place and Oh my god, I'm just so glad to be out of that situation. And I live in a new place now. If you guys haven't noticed, I have a completely different apartment. It's amazing. It's actually a lot less space than my last place. I was honestly kind of nervous to move into a smaller space because I just had so much stuff, so many items. And in a weird backwards way because of the mice issue, I ended up having to get rid of a lot of items. And although I had to replace a lot, I was able to just get rid of a lot before I got here. So I feel like I have a lot less, which is nice. It's a lot less to upkeep as far as like cleaning and just maintaining my space. I still have some unpacking to do, so I won't show you guys around fully, maybe in like a different video, but yeah, if you guys were curious about my new background and how much brighter it is in my videos, that is why. My dad retired from work. He worked at a company for literally 36 years, I believe. It could be, I think it could be a little more, a little less than that. But he, like ever since I can remember my dad, he has worked at that place and it's just crazy to think like now he's just free like i'm able to go over to the house my parents house and visit him and not think about him just like being on call or like doing something for work or reading a workbook or like doing something work related it's like really strange to think about him actually just being like completely free so I'm really happy for him. Because of his retirement, my family actually took a trip to Chicago a few weekends ago, which was so cool. My sister actually made a video on that trip, so I can include that in the description below. But it was such a fun time. We drove six hours from Minneapolis to Chicago. We got to see Megan Rapino. if you're familiar with her. She's like one of the best female soccer players of all time. She's like a US soccer legend. And that game was her, like, basically like her send off into retirement. So it was kind of cool, like the parallel between her retirement from soccer and my dad's retirement from his job. But yeah, just like seeing the US women's team play was so cool. Our seats were so good. And my sister was really generous and like basically paid for the entire trip. We got to stay in the Hilton, which was super fun. And like it had a really cool like 
modern but historic feel to it. The whole trip was just awesome. We were only there for like two days, I want to say, but yeah, it was just a beautiful, wonderful time. And also just really cool to do something with the fam since my dad is now free and my mom is also free. She retired in 2020 during like COVID. So yeah, it's just cool that like they're free to just kind of do as they please now. I guess one other cool thing is I've been getting into like nail art for some reason. Like don't look at my nails now, but um, <laughs> I had like a an old set on that I just trimmed because I was getting annoyed of how long they were, but I've been like experimenting a little more with it because I just, I realized that I never wore nail polish and I never like really did my nails even like throughout college really, maybe like a couple times, but it's just like something that I've always in like I've always liked the look of, but I just was never like, I don't even know, like I just didn't really do it. But there's a YouTuber that I watch, her name is Maya Benway, she is also from Minnesota, shout out to Maya. I've followed her for a really long time and I love her nail art videos and she like does everything like from her own place like and it looks like salon quality. So I was just really inspired to start doing my own. So yeah, I've been like experimenting. These ones are kind of like glittery. I don't know if you can really tell, but yeah, they're don't look, don't judge them. They're definitely like rough because I trimmed them, like I said, and I didn't like shape them really at all. I just, I'm kind of, I'm actually going to switch them out soon. So yeah, but it's been fun to get into. I've been using like acrylics and also like experimenting with like gel polish and a nail lamp and all of that so i'm pretty new but yeah i posted a video recently on just like easy nails to do at home which was really fun what else can i tell you guys mm, i okay another thing that's pretty crazy and recent is i decided to get tickets to olivia rodrigo because she's coming to minneapolis and i Honestly, don't think I realized how big of a fan that I actually am until I watched one of her recent videos, like, performing all of her songs from her new album, Sour. And I realized that I know pretty much every single word. And I was like, oh my gosh, she's coming to Minneapolis in March. And I, like, saw something about it online. So I threw my name in on, like, a ticket Ticketmaster, like, registry thing for pre-sale. So I just was honestly wasn't even thinking much of it. I was just like, you know, maybe if I feel compelled in the moment, I'll buy tickets. And so I decided ugh, once I got the email, I was like, I don't know if I should do it. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. Thought about it for a while. And then I actually fell asleep and I was supposed to be online at a certain time to get the tickets if I wanted to get the tickets on presale. And so many people tried to get pre-sale and didn't make it. And I literally made it into pre-sale and I fell asleep. So that's cool. Um, so I logged on and I was like, oh, F, there's like no tickets left that are, you know, affordable. And I also was trying to go with a friend of mine who is also a fan of Olivia and we were kind of like, I was sending her <laughs> like like pictures on my phone of my computer screen, like, hey, these are the tickets that are left. None of them were seated together. They were like one seat here and one seat, like two sections over over here or like two completely different price tickets that were like, one was close to the floor and one was like way up high. It just like was not working out, but I just had this impulsive moment where I was like, I know that she doesn't really get to go to these types of things a lot, and I don't know, I just felt like being generous, and I also was like, we never get to do anything really like this together. <sighs> so I had an impulsive moment, and I bought two floor seats, and they're still not seated together, but they're like one seat apart. Like there's literally like one seat in between where we'll be sitting. So it's like, whatever. Like the people we're by will just like hopefully switch with us. But yeah, so I spent a good chunk of money on those tickets. It's 
essentially like buying floor seats to Taylor Swift so you can infer what type of cost that is and I haven't decided yet if I regret it. I don't think I do. I, I don't think I regret it, but man, I just, yeah. I would like to have that money back, but it's also like, I kind of enjoy spending my money on experiences. So I'm just trying to cut down on like buying stuff right now. So I'm trying to be a little more minimal, hence me buying the tea maker because it's cheaper than like going out and buying coffees and stuff. So I'm just trying to do a lot more stuff at home by myself and like keeping myself entertained without spending a lot of money if you catch my drift. It's also my boyfriend's birthday on Friday. If you are my boyfriend, click out of this video right now if you don't want your surprise to be spoiled for you. I'll give you five seconds to get your ass out of this video. Okay, cool. So I was searching online and trying to figure out like what the heck do I get this man's for his birthday. I could not figure it out for the life of me. And I realized that there was this amazing place called The Pottery in Minneapolis that's literally like a bar slash indoor golfing place. And if you look at pictures of it, it's like modern, cool looking like rooms with different themes and you like putt throughout the entire bar, which is super cool. They have like a library room. Um, one room that looks like some trippy, like, illusion room. Yeah, it's just gonna be a super cool time and also, like, fun to just experience something that I honestly have never done before and I have no idea if he's gonna enjoy it, if he's gonna think it's cool. I really hope so. I will update you guys and I'll probably film, like, some of the experience because it'll be really cool. I'm also gonna be doing a soccer team again, which is really exciting. I was just really craving soccer again, as were some of the people on my old team. And so we decided to do another league together. I have friends from high school that are gonna be joining and we're gonna have jerseys this time, which is super cool. Like one of the members on our team decided to pay for us to get fully like brand new uniforms and he's covering the costs. He has some connection. So that's gonna be super awesome to just have new jerseys and new like shorts and everything. Also, I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing for Halloween this year, which is kind of funny for me. I usually have a plan. I have a really cool video idea that I want to do where I bought this little Halloween kit to make like a... It's basically like a gingerbread house, but like a haunted gingerbread house. And I found it at Target and I thought it would be really fun to do as a YouTube video. So I have that planned and I think I'm still gonna do that, but I honestly just have felt like October has gone so fast. Like we're already gonna be at the 12th of October tomorrow, which is just like bananas to me. And I don't know, I feel like I can get really overwhelmed with Halloween and just like things that you have to dress up for or you feel like societal pressure to dress up for, like Halloween, concerts, um, just like events like that, weddings, like I just, I don't know what that is in me, but I get really stressed out about what I'm gonna wear. And it's like, honestly not even like a big deal. I don't know why I feel like that, but maybe you guys can relate to that. But I decided this year, like, as much as I love dressing up for Halloween, like maybe I could still dress up, but part of me is like, I'm not really feeling the parties. I'm not really feeling the social craziness of Halloween. And I kind of just want to do like a getaway. I was talking to my boyfriend about this a few days ago and just like how I wasn't feeling the hubbub of, of everything and like time got away from me. I don't have a costume like, and I don't want to stress over a costume. And we both agreed like, It'd be kind of fun to just do a getaway like why don't we just go to like a cool city and just do halloween like somewhere else and that like it kind of made me feel like relief in a weird way i don't know why but i've never done that before for a halloween or like truly any holiday just like on my own been like okay let's just like do something different and like get out of here yeah, I don't know if it's gonna happen, but it's fun to think about. 
we've been talking about a few different cities that we could go to just for fun and honestly just to, like experience Halloween somewhere else would be cool. So yeah, stay tuned on if that happens or not. I think that's kind of everything for now. This might end up being kind of a short video, but I just wanted to like catch you guys up a little bit on my life and where I'm at at the moment. I know I suck at being consistent with posting every single week, but I'm really trying. I'm really trying. I'm also really excited about just seeing like my potential to get monetized coming soon and also just like connecting with more of you guys and just seeing like even just like one subscriber tick up like it's so much fun yeah i'm really close to 500 subscribers i feel like i just made my 100 subscriber video like a year ago i don't know when i posted that but it feels like it was like a year ago and yeah here we are at almost 500 which is so cool and i really just want to post more and connect more with you guys so if you guys have any questions about me my life like whatever you guys want to know literally whatever you want to ask me just drop it down below and i i'm telling you i respond to everything and i really do respond to everything yeah i think that's it for now i will see you guys next week bye um I had something in my head, but I can't remember what I wanted to tell you guys. Um. Uh,